Welcome back, people of Tamriel. I'm Xenocraft1212, back with another episode of Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Now, last time I kind of just ran around talking to some Thalmor and doing some, like, doing some random things, things that weren't very important. We did get a quest to find some Akafri artifacts like these, but I didn't have a quest marker for many things. But since then, I have gone into the mis miscellaneous section, and we will visit the Hall of the Champion, find their missing husband, which is hopefully going to be an interesting quest, and gather some mother wart and such. The mother wart might not have quest markers, I'm not sure. But I'm just going to follow all of them in no particular order and see where it takes me. In theory, we should be able to gather some information about the stolen Akaviri stuff. And I have my microphone on the right side of my desk, which is on the opposite side as the computer, so hopefully the fan noise isn't as much. The fans are also on the opposite side of the computer. The locals Alteration going about their business, business. I've reminiscent turn of my skin to flinging excrement go down each other, at the barracks. except for more beards and less sense. Wow, that was a lot of talking. Oh yeah, I was going to adjust the audio. Well, too late now. I will be louder in the next episode, and the game will be quieter. But I forgot to do that. There's a quest that said visit the Hall of the Champion, which we already did, I think. Can I help you? There's someone in the inn. Might as well talk to them. I'm kind of talking to the side of my microphone, so I'm not sure Greetings. how well. Greetings, I'm Ombri. Ombri the Bard. In the mood for a song? I'm gonna turn down the audio. Hopefully that'll help with it being too loud. The Gerald View. We have drinks, beds. What and can I food. get you? Which do you need? Any? Are you a Oh, oh that girl. I hope she hasn't been too much trouble. Yes, yeah, she's mine in Herons. Well, used to be at any rate. Recently, she's just been mine. That's an interesting way to phrase that. He was that. stationed at Fort Pale Pass, but we haven't heard anything for months. None of the soldiers passing through here on leave have seen him either. I've sent letter after letter, but they still haven't told me anything. I have no idea where he is, what See happened to him, on you. or if he's even still alive. He's probably kidnapped and we're gonna save him. Fort Pale Pass. The Imperial Fort placed right on the border to Skyrim. Yes, I've been there. Mostly waters for illegal border crossing. Have you tried Yes, many times. Directly? I've sent letter after letter, but heard nothing. I can send as many letters as I want, but if Heron isn't even at the fort, then he's hardly going to see them, is he? The truth. I can find him. You would? I'd be indebted to you if you did, stranger. Like I said, he is was garrisoned up at Fort Pale Pass. It's right on the border to Skyrim. Good luck. And please, stranger, I beg of you, find my heron. Going to turn down audio a little bit more. Hopefully that's better. And also, let's turn off the others. Get others later. Well, or did it start its own quest? No, it started its own quest. Okay. And we can turn all these back on. Hmm. Huh, interesting. No quest markers for that. Luckily, I know where it is. But, it's like to point out, no quest markers. Um, I've been very busy recently with school and such. You sure? Yeah. So that's why there haven't been some videos in a while. What is? Mm -hmm. You know, Heron Ironheart. The Legate has no idea. I'm not much more informed than him, but well, I have a theory. One of our own came staggering in, severely wounded. Oh no! A group of us rushed to help him. But it was too late. He was gasping for air, but I could have sworn he was trying to say Stormcloaks. That's not good. If Stormcloaks are the culprits, though, 
And the question is, how did they cross the border? We've got it pretty well guarded on both sides. They could have just crossed where there's not crossing. There's an old dude. cave nearby, filled to the brim with bandits. Some like to speculate that it comes out in Skyrim. Maybe? No, it, it couldn't be. Oh, that serpent's past he's well, talking about. It's an about. old wives' tale, but... Well, it might be worth checking out anyway. Old place is called Serpent's Trail. Oh, I trail. I'll show you on your map. Sweet. Still no quest marker. That's nice. Um, can't remember if it was up or down. It was down. Yeah, there it is. But I don't think it's worth fast traveling. By the way, I came here without a follower in the hopes that I will get followers here. So far that has not been a reality. This is where the game has crashed previously, so we shall see if it crashes here again. But it hasn't crashed ever since I loaded a save that was already in Bruma. Hi Caribou, which is still named Deer for reasons unknown to me. That's one of my biggest pet peeves about this game, is Moose, Elk, Deer, Caribou are all named Deer. But anyways, that's a little off topic. We need to find this guy and save him from Stormcloak Scum. Come on, hard drive, I believe in you. Maybe. Maybe? There we go. Do I have any weapons from this mod? I can't remember. It's been a while. But yeah, I have... I have that sword. Glenroy's katana. I'm going to set as number one. Whew. Feel the lag. So, filled to the brim with bandits. And... Oh, that's convenient. That's... That's not good. Half the legion has been ordered north to Bruma because of the war in Skyrim. Blah 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 blah. Have no love for Thalmor or Thalmor orders. Yeah, no one loves Thalmor. Thalmor suck. Uh, I don't think the old man has ever quite warmed up to me, his family, but he's a good grandfather to my daughter. Blah 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 blah. I love Talos as much as the next Nord, but he must die for peace. We cut them down and gave them proper burial. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who did? Peacekeepers there, not fucking force. Wolves and prisoner transport. Only one of our men was lost in the end. Another two rushed back to the fort. They thought they'd be punished. And the two prisoners were wary of us at first, but eventually admitted they were storm cloaks. Blah, 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 blah. That's kind of long. An advanced scout has snuck past the border with a message. Jarl Ulfric is headed our way. Plans to cross into Cyrodiil. What? Legion, I've chosen my path. I hope that the Nine know. I hope that... Asenaya can believe me. Is that the person I talked to? I dread having to turn to my sword on the former Legion. That's interesting. Well, dude, there's some interesting armor there. Worn Elven Sword. It seems like it's just an Elven Sword, but not as good. <laughs> Can't touch this. <laughs> Corundum. And a chest. It's probably going to just have random assorted goods in it, is what I'm assuming. And I'm right. I'm going to travel through here in the Skyrim and see the bandits they're talking about. Yo. Another worm. You really want to throw your life away? There's an iron one? What is that thing? 
Iron Great Sword. Oh, it's the Cyrodiilic version. My little brother just barged in talking about vampires. But I'm back now. Ow. That's some hurts, man. Oh, he's strong. You think you know pain? I think you know pain. Nice dagger there. Chainmail boots. I think I'm wearing those actually. Really interesting dagger. That's pretty cool looking actually. Triple fullard and then turns into two fullers. I don't know why you would need fullers on your dagger, but whatever. Minor details, yeah, yeah, I'm wearing chainmail boots. Some gloves. Just regular gloves. This looks like it goes nowhere. Great. Well, let's test. Continue. There are too many different paths. <laughs> That's a problem. Looks like those clothes would not be keeping anyone warm at all. I think I have the Time using die. dual sword perk, so that would be very useful. Ebony's mage hood. And if I just do that, then they're toast. Because that little dagger does insane amounts of damage. I mean, like, a lot of damage. Because of the Ring of a Thousand Truths. So it seems that way was not the correct way to go. Man, there's a lot of different passages. Holy cow. I hope I'm not going back the way I came. I was thinking about becoming a pirate, but then I remember what happened last time I got on the ship. Got no sea legs. You sound gay, friend. Not really, I know plenty of What's gay people on? who don't sound that like that at all. That, that was a girl anyway, so. Whoa. <laughs> that thing would never exist in real life. Just saying, there's a huge lack of realism there. A gigantic lack of realism. Right in the crotch area. Close. Uh. Ching ching ching. What the heck? Elysian battle axe. That thing looks awesome. Yeah, that. Yeah, it's just the wood. Nice handle on it too. Taking everything, because all of this is new to me. Like I said, I've never played Oblivion. All of this is new and fresh to me. All these textures and names and stuff. I have no idea, no idea what they mean. And this is just a dead end as well. Great. Although at least the dead ends do have enemies and things that you can get and sell and money and whatnot. It is easy to get turned around in here for sure. Is this the way it came from originally? Yeah, it is. And we already went down there. So it's like a real cave though. A real cave would have all of these. Not a good thing to be talking to yourself about, person. I'm thinking about an ambush. Another interruption. But I'm back now. Elven fur armor. That is worse than the armor I'm wearing. I wonder if it gives you short shorts if you're a guy. Uh, nope. It does not. It looks warm, though. Gives you like a kilt, goes down to your knees. These are short shorts. Come on, guys, these are short shorts too. 
Looks like this place was a fort that got kind of torn up. Yeah, there's the Imperial Sigil. At least I think that's what it's called, the Sigil. <laughs> Just the top. Who's there? None of your business. I knew it. Uh, that's his regular Skyrim armor. The mod creator did, well, mod creators did a very good job with the mixing of stuff in Skyrim and Cyrodiil stuff, and holy crap, this place is slightly large. Just slightly large. Where'd you go? Where'd you... I am falling off a cliff. Great. This looks a lot like the Dawn Guard place. In fact, no, it's not the same. It's just very close to one of the caves during the Dawn Guard quest line. It has a river as well, but in the Dawn Guard quest line, the river is not frozen. Because you're not super high up in the mountains. I'm not very good at leading these guys. In real life, my poor guy would be like shaking horribly right now, holding the bow back for so long. But he's Sauron, the Dova King. His arms never get tired, apparently. Come on. I might not be able to keep looking over the wall from down here. Yeah, I can't see him now. Oh, well. Maybe I can lure him over there. They run towards where the arrow impacts. And that's not him, that was just the skilled black stuff on it. That is the downside to Boethia's Shroud. Is that... You can't see through your scope as well as without it. Come on. I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, done. You're very done now. I'm very, very done. I can take them both out. I... I... Whoa, is that iron axe? No, it's a steel axe. I think it's super interesting. It's super. Uh, it's not totally thick. Uh, this one could have actually been used historically, except for the metal on the end. Right, what's his name? Ringleader. Explains why he's got the nice armor. Oh, well, I'm assuming that we're towards the end here. Definitely towards the end. We have a map of Cyrodiil. That's awesome. I want this map. Just want to take this entire map. Yeah, I approve greatly. Just threw the cup into the bowl. Yeah, that was really cool. You can see we're up here in the far north. Cyrodiil goes way farther to the south than I thought it did. It was way farther to the south. Did I already look in here? Yeah. Here's a skill book, by the way. Unread books glow, make skill books glow red. Now the reason that didn't give me any points or anything is because Every skill is level 100. And that's dead guy. Great. Assuming that the way we need to go. I didn't come in through normal means. So I don't know if we we're supposed to enter this way or leave this way. But I'll find out in a second. 
Maybe right now is not the best time to record because I keep getting interrupted. But that is the, the direction we need to go. Hmm. Here's what the map looks like. So we need to go back the way we came through the cave. It's not what this is, this is a tower. They succeeded at making this place confusing. Definitely going to give the creators that much. Definitely succeeded in making this a realistic cave experience. Except for the giant fort, that's kind of not very accurate. But I'm glad that the Skyrim you have the map. It seems like didn't even have to go and clear out that big giant fort. That was kind of a waste of time, it would appear. But hey, now we've seen what this place has to offer. That's good enough. There was a door label to climb up in the minimap. So I'm assuming that's how you get to Skyrim. Who the frames? Now we can go tell the wife. Not sure which place I fast traveled to because it changed at the very end. I am a werewolf. But I haven't run around as a werewolf for a while. Because it's annoying, you get, like, if anyone sees you transform into a werewolf, you get bounties. Why do I have three quest markers? Can yeah. I help you? I'm sorry, he was killed by Stormcloak trying to cross the border. Before he used to fail class, he's, he's dead. Yeah. I, I Not see. Lying. I never thought Heron would join the Stormcloaks, but this journal. He was a soldier, so I always knew the worst could happen. But this. Uh, no, I'm. Yes, he's trying yes. to protect you. I can see he believed that. I just wish he would have given a thought to his family before standing against the Thalmor. I'll do the only thing I can do. Grieve with my family and try to move on. Despite this, despite what happened, we owe you our thanks. If not for you, we would never have known his fate. Please take this. It used to belong to him, to Heron. I don't want it anymore. You might get some use out of it, at least. Is it a sword? Holy crap, it's a lot of money. I don't need this anymore. I don't need 1,200 septums. Why would I need that? So I think it's interesting that one of the options was to talk to the daughter. But that just feels wrong to me. So let's check out our spoils of war. Other than that massive amount of money. Can't remember what the name of the axe was. Um, come on, I'll find it eventually. There we go, it's at the very top. Great. Elysian Battle Axe. That thing looks comically huge. Super thick. Yo. Mm -hmm. You hunter. Yeah, Talk to you later. Nice axe. That axe is way more realistic than this one. This thing is funny. It's huge. How much damage does it do though? 54. If we compare that to the only other weapon that I've not made super powerful, 33. So does a lot of damage, that's for sure. And it looks hilarious. I'm assuming this is where we can fight weapons. Oh, it's the Fighter's Guild, that's interesting. But that's it for this episode. We may or may not have ruined a man's name. That sucks. But 
in the next episode, we'll continue doing good. Hopefully, not ruin someone's name and tell the truth, even though he would have wanted us to lie. But, until then, goodbye.